Hey guys, what's going on? Carter here. Yep, got another sales video for you. Just got four knives here for sale. They're kind of, uh, you know, a little upper on the end. So this is not going to be one of those blowout uh, sell stuff for pennies on the dollar type video. But I'd like to think that I'm selling these for a fairly fair price. Uh, so let's get to it. First off, kind of the general rules. The prices I'm spouting are all shipped. Um within the continental US, so the lower 48. Um, it's PayPal only, as far as payment goes. Uh, the price I'm giving is as gift. If you wanna do regular PayPal, then it's an extra 3% added to the price that I give. Um, I ship very quickly. Um, it'll have a confirmation number and things like that. International, um, I can do international, however, there are some uh, additional stipulations. I just, I don't like doing it. Um, and the main reason why I don't like doing it is because I can't really feel warm and fuzzy about a sale until I hear back from the person um, as having received the item. And if they like it and they give a thumbs up and then I can say, okay, now I can use those funds. Because let's face it, I'm selling these because I want the funds available, whether it's to get something new or pay something off or bills or whatever. Um, so when I ship international, you know, it, it takes extra time before I can get those warm fuzzies. And um, there's also, you know, there's some additional risk. It just, you're dealing with customs and things like that. And the third reason is I, I just, I can't do a tracking number on international. Um, I don't know if it's my post office or what, if they're just dumb, but they, I mean, they say they can't offer it unless I do some kind of you know, one day or two day Ultra Express for like 50 bucks, you know, and it includes tracking and insurance and all this stuff. But as far as just forking over like 10 extra bucks for a tracking number, they claim I just can't do it. Um, the other thing is I will need some additional funds for shipping if I'm going international and I will not ship this Balasong International. Um, it is considered to be a switchblade or a gravity knife and, uh, yeah, so I won't do it. Um, but these other three are fair game for international, assuming it's legal to do so, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, moving on. Let's take a look at the knives, talk about prices. Uh, you're basically, all these are more or less new in box. The one that's probably seen the most use, uh, put in quotations, is probably the Silicuates. And I say that in quotations because it's not actual use. But this is, I have taken this one apart. Um, I did a video on that. I've played with this one quite a bit. I've carried it a couple times. Um, I haven't done any sort of extensive cutting or anything like that. As you can see, there's no marks on the pocket clip. I mean, it is stone washed, but uh, no marks on the pocket clip. Everything is in just great, superb condition. Super smooth, buttery smooth. You know, solid as a, one of the most solid freaking knives that I have, actually. I mean, it is just rock solid. Factory edge on there. I have not sharpened it. I've only, I don't even know if I've cut anything at all. I may have opened a box or something. But, uh, brand freaking new. I've got the box for this somewhere. I'm almost 100% sure that I've got everything for it. This is the 3.5 inch Tonto with the, uh, the green g mascus on there. Button lock. Great detent, uh, perfectly centered. So yeah, just practically new. Really nice knife. Um, on this, I'm asking 110. It's shipped in the U.S. As I mentioned, you know, additional things international if uh, if I get international interest, which I usually do. But uh, 110 shipped, PayPal gift, or 110 plus three percent regular PayPal. Really good steal. If you're wanting to get one of these, that is just an excellent deal. Very nice knife. Next up is the Adamas. This one really is like freaking brand new. I did a couple videos on it where I talked about it and I carried it around my house where the clip uh, broke in case you didn't see that video. I was carrying it around my house. I thought it'd be a good idea to release some tension on the clip and it busted. Uh, so I had Benchmade send me a brand new official Adamus clip. So this is, you know, this isn't some third party solution. This is from Benchmade. 
Um, it, it's an official duplicate clip. But yeah, this is just 100% perfect condition. I haven't cut anything with it. I may have opened a box. But as you can see, there's no marks on it whatsoever. It's nice and solid. Axis lock. This is the uh, manual version of the Adamus. There is an auto version. This is not it. Let's check the centering. Almost, almost perfect. Just slightly, slightly off. If you can even see that. And of course, that's how it was from the factory. I didn't. I haven't taken this apart. I haven't messed with it. Um, it's just, it's just not my my style. I thought I would really dig it, and I, I like the look of it, but uh, yeah, just not my thing, you know. And um, if you watch my channel, you know the axis lock isn't my favorite, and I don't really have any logical reason for that. It's just, it's just not. So, uh, so yeah, the price on this one is 130. So a good, you know, 30 plus bucks off once you uh, consider shipping and things like that. If you were looking at picking one of these up. Next up is the ZT0560. So this is with the uh, black scale, obviously. Right there. Once again, um, I've only played with this knife. Haven't cut anything I can speak of. Factory edge, no marks. Um, I think I did carry it one day, or a couple days. But uh, no, uh, no marks on the clip or anything like that. Centering is dead nuts on. The lockup on this one is a little later than a lot I've seen. However, this is how it came out of the box, and it has not budged since I've owned it at all. It is a carbonized lock face from the manufacturer. I know some are, some aren't. Flips open like a dream. Rock solid. Very nice. Uh, got the box, everything with this one. And once again, just not really digging it. I love the 0550, but uh, this one, it's just, I don't know. I just I, I just don't love it. I don't really like the deep carry pocket clip. And it's just a little too thin for my taste, I guess. I'm not sure. I haven't quite, quite put my finger on why I don't love this knife. I thought I would love this knife. I thought this was going to be my favorite knife ever. But uh, just, you know, it's one of those things. Just didn't turn out to be that way. Uh, price on that one, I don't know if I said it, 230 230 bucks. So that's a good deal. I mean, these are still kind of hard to find. They sell out very quickly because they're still high in demand. And so to be able to get one practically new in box for less than actual retail, pretty good deal. Last but not least, which you may be a little perplexed by if you watch my channel, is a Benchmade Morpho um, 51. And the reason why you might be perplexed is because you haven't seen this on my channel. And the reason is because I actually just barely got this recently. And I did do an unboxing video on it, but I have not uploaded it. Actually, I'm uploading it now as we speak. And then right after this, I'm going to do kind of a closer look video with this. But uh, I wasn't planning on selling it so quick. But, uh, you know, since I'm already doing this video, I was going to wait on this one a while. I, I kind of got into a, a Balasong kick, like a weekend Balasong kick last weekend. And um, thought I was going to get all balasong -y again and start doing tricks and stuff like that. And so I bought this one I was going to do some stuff with and, you know, start flipping and, and practice and stuff. And that kind of just faded out. And so now I'm kind of like, eh. I'm just not a huge Balasong fan anymore. I mean, it's fun. I like to flip, but I usually just flip whatever cheapies I have around. I don't take it serious. Um, and I was going to start trying to take it serious, and that's why I bought this, but uh, I kind of changed my mind. So, yeah, brand new in box. I've done maybe three or four tricks with this thing. Very, like, light tricks, and that's it. Other than that, it's just been sitting in my knife closet. So yeah, so this is the large Morpho with the, uh, I believe it's a four inch or four and a quarter inch blade. Uh, so price on this is 200 bucks and this is brand spanking new. Um, you know, I see these around for like two, 200 plus, 230, somewhere around there. Uh, so yeah, guys, um, 
that's what I have for you. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. If you're not interested, don't let me know. It's just that simple. Um, I think I've made everything pretty uh, pretty clear on there. I'll see how this goes. It's always kind of fun to talk to you guys and do sales this way. And I'll probably put you know whatever doesn't sell, I'll put up on a forum somewhere. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know if you guys are interested in picking up any of these uh, sweet, sweet blades off of me. All right, guys, uh, take it easy. Have a good weekend and chillax. Just chillax, why don't you? Later.